Hello everyone, I'm Rob Smith, the Smith in the Black Channel here, Ticker Tacker with the Strat Time Report. And one of the things that we've been talking about all month is the monthly candles. And so if you go to SPY, once again, barely any movement. It's getting worse. you got the holiday coming. And if you go to the 60, you're going to see this. Let me pull this up for you. So we know we have that bad tick in there. I think everybody's got that. But we'll take a look at it. And... You can see the prices, once you get stuck in the middle of this range, and you can see the, the bigger broadening formation like this. Oops, let's take her out a little bit further for you. All right, so here you can see the higher highs and the lower low series. Right, this is your larger broadening formation we're keeping an eye on. But then once you get stuck in the middle, you can see price discovery starting all over again. Slight higher high, the lower low, the higher high. So how do we get out of all this, and then how do we get out of this or that with only uh, uh, a half session tomorrow, holiday market. So really starting to dry up in here, and you can see, even see in here how the broadening formations can be the continuation pattern. So here, gaps down, pukes. And then make sure nobody's short here and see the broadening formation in here. And then boom. And then here's your two, one, two back up. Now just stuck in here. So we did get inside 60s here. Here's QQQ. And trying to break above that, that's something, right? So we, once you get that equilibrium of those inside bars on the hourly, um, then we can start to see if we're going to get anything. Because another thing you want to keep an eye on when you're watching all this stuff is... What does VXX think about this? VXX hates the boring. So a lot of think people uh, think that the VIX and stuff hates up markets. It doesn't. It hates boring markets because there's no really no need to use option protection if things are doing nothing, right? And that's what the VIX is based off of. So when when things really get quiet, you get on the VXX and VIX products and stuff like that. So if we go back here and blow this up so another thing we want to see once again is we want to look for discernible breaks when it gets this quiet we want to see if there's any sector rotation going on so, right? so where might we be see seeing some sector rotation today would be in the financials FAS so let me shrink this back down for you so we had a lot of inside days yesterday um, and that's you know part of the slow boringness and you're going to see this here and the FAS going inside day and then go into the upside. And it's going to be a little boring, but you got like your Bank of America going inside day and up. You've got JP Morgan also. And that just tells you to look across the board and see if there's anything more fun like an SIVB here. Not an inside day, but uh, in the financials. And so the, the one thing about seeing everything go in the same direction, you know institutionals are, are coming in to buy them across the board. They're not just sitting there uh, picking out individuals and you got your Goldman Sachs trying to come up. Still inside day, so you see if this can break here, upper left here, and that would be above 257.70. Now, another thing I talked about yesterday, all right, they're starting to perk up here as these inside 60s are trying to break to the upside here. So that's a good thing when you get that equilibrium. Talked about yesterday about um, how quickly we can communicate when you know the strat and what I'm talking about. Uh, last night's video was 2 minutes and 13 seconds. <laughs> right? So one of the things I pointed out was that we've seen a lot of strength in the cyber names. Hack, right? <laughs> cyber, all these cyber names having a big month. And so what I pointed out was when you look at things like cyber, CYBR, right, today. And so once we go blasting into the highs as your monthly, we call it exhaustion risk. There's no pivots to be short against. And so it doesn't mean it's going to fall apart. They just stall out. So if you go to Cyber and you'll see Palo Alto here stalling out. And so one of the things I pointed out was like these things are all blasting into new highs. All right. That's that's a bit of an issue. The buyer's got to keep stepping it. But if you go down to FEYE and you go way back, you'll notice this. FEYE used to be somebody way up here, right? The high of uh, 97.35. So if I'm buying cyber names, I pretty much bought up all the other ones, right? Um, but FEYE, this has been a, been a lot higher. We call it, it used to be somebody. So you come in on a day like today and bam, there you go. You're like a 12 percenter with no gap. So that's good. We'll see if that sets up again for you. Uh, if you go to your 15er, you're going to see this. So we call this a measured move. So here's your reversal here lower left two down hammer back through previous range then up 
then inside 15 and give me measured move which would be this bar here and then some and now you get up here a little bit chop shop up in here we'll see if that sets up i'd watch that on a 60 to see if they're going to give us any more out of that uh it's also uh wednesday so crude number comes out and crude number uh, i'm not getting too much going did get the reversal on the daily upper left still an inside week upper middle so not too exciting there got some of those oils going but now they're starting to fade so that's kind of what they do if we go to not fading moderna moderna getting okayed up there in canada there eh? and so uh we're watching this one because it had that inside week to the drop right last week then it was still dropping this week and you can see the red month in the lower middle however when you talk about that exhaustion risk and then you have a gap, so this thing gaps down into here, exhaustion risk. So when we put it on the gap list to keep an eye on, the control group goes to the 60 and the daily. As far as I know, these sellers are gone, right, unless this 60 goes right on me, right, which it did not. So then as you get down to a 15, you're going to see this here, down inside, 212 reversal, right. And since then, no lower low till here. Right, and this triggered 1975. This didn't this didn't make a lower low until 125.90. Not bad. And then if you go to a 30, you're gonna see this. Here's your 32 reversal here, down, boom, and then here's your continuation inside 30, and off she goes. So nice little move there. Uh, if we go to uh, checkpoint, still going. And checkpoint and we've been watching this one take off and this is what we, it's got exhaustion risk because it's going into the highs it's just not stopping so far and this had our attention lower middle because of the inside month right yep sure did okay if we go to uh, fuel cell fuel cell let's get that 60 going no, it didn't go inside 60 but you can see also it used to be somebody right that's good and then if you go to the weekly, you're going to see this. These two, three weeks were completely in a here, right? So you can use this as a compound inside bar to take that. And then this, because these three were inside, and then your exhaustion was going to be here. But it's still going. So if, let's see if we can get anything off the 15 or if we got to go down to something else. Here's what we like. Shooting star, hammer. Boop, right back up. That's a two up, two down. Then these two become an outside bar of all that. You see over 1243. We'll see if that sets up again for you. Uh, if we go to, in the semis, SMH. You can see SMH doing nothing, right? <laughs> this thing's doing nothing. It is slightly inside weak to the downside, but it's green, so that's conflict there. And uh, let me see what I write this down here. But what that tells us is that we can look at individual names, because if you look at, like, NVIDIA... This thing's been doing nothing forever. Look at this weekly. This thing's just stuck. Three months inside of this thing. So, no. So then if we go to Corvo, see a little bit different story here. Inside week to the upside. This thing's outperforming here, right? So we got a little bit more room to go take out the highs up into here. We'll see if we can get out of there. If it's, right now it's a little bit of a grind. If you go to Cirrus Logic. Serious logic on the 15 or a little fast. How about the 60? Inside 60 to the upside. And so how, the way we identified serious logic buyers, right, is what happened on the opening in the queues. Opening in the queues outside, it slammed, right? Here, right? Right here. It opens and gets hit, right? But Cirrus was doing this. Boom. That tells me I got a buyer in there, right? Let him do the heavy lifting for me and on the week, potentially going inside week to the upside up into here. Uh, if we go to target and target having a nice move here, we'll see if this sets up for you again. If you go to the upper left, right, you're going to see the machine gun back through all these pivots. If anybody's short, right, still red on the month and not really doing much, but on a day like today, that's just came firing straight out of there, straight green. We'll see if anything more comes of that. If we go to SSYS and SSYS coming up 
and all right stolen out on the 15 or but once again I used to be somebody took a bunch of this stuff out in the, in the monthly in the lower middle here that's already gone so you got some exhaustion risk we'll see if this sets up 60 30 or something like that right now potentially inside 60. if we go to Humana and Humana having a nice little day here and you can see coming back and trying to go green on the month right also as it forms into here you can see the weekly as it starts racing through we know outside bars exist so once this thing went green on the week and coming back through this range we're looking to go outside week which it did so in one shot it took a bunch of this stuff out but you can see up here in the upper left used to be a lot higher out through this stuff so we'll see you can watch that xlv here and you can see how it's outperforming that xlv pretty handily so far all right broader average is still drying up into nada if we go to PODD. Pod. Pod. So pod still inside month. We're going to be aware of that. But you can see here on the weekly, upper middle, the two down, take out the low, and then boom, there's your reversal. And these two become an outside bar of that. Right? So the hope says keep going because you've got on the daily more pivots here to go after. Right? People who are going to be short against stuff like this. Right? So we'll see if the, how that goes. If you go to NVCR. Modern it has. NVCR, once again, the inside month here in the lower middle. And then you had your sell off last week, exhaustion risk, and then boom, right back at them this week. You see that? And that's, that's why we want to watch, that's why Mondays are important because it's three of the four major time frames start over again, right? So last week was profit taking week. This week, with the inside month still good. It's back at them, NVCR. Just got some exhaustion risks going into uh, the highs there. If we go to, let's take a look at Replogen. This thing just popped up here. Let's see if this thing's doing anything. Eh, not too much. If we go to EOSE, here, just a little gunner and see this inside week to the upside. New issue, so we'll see if that sets up on the inside. 60, then alarm. Oh, boy, sound the alarm. Get, boy, this thing just doesn't quit. Look at this daily. And that's where you want to learn how to stay in a trade, right? Is there any reversal against you? No. So if once, if you let's say that you got this here on the 60 here, lower left, the two down to stop them out and you get in here, you don't have to sell this thing. This thing's still good. Or the inside 60 down in here, still good. And so you don't have to panic in here. Right, because you're looking at here and being like, there's no nowhere near reversing on anything. Right, so far so good. Uh, if we go to uh, PRLB, PRLB, once again another inside month to the upside, not quitting here either. You got some exhaustion risk, but so far so good. If you go to the downside, not too much. Uh, if you look at Home Builders ITB, you're gonna see this red and taking out yesterday's low still inside week not doing too much but you got things going inside day and down over there like lennar not totally falling apart but it is what it is and dhi most of the selling seems to be a lot of profit taking in some big boys but let's let's go to dollar tree here first of all retail going the other way from the target so it's not the end of the world for this thing still inside week but because it's red month and red week that gets my attention because anytime this is red and the 60 goes red now you got full time frame continuity to the downside. That's how I can identify the sellers. Pod, P-O-D-D -D goes to the highs. For the most part, like I was saying, it's a lot of high flyers, just uh, profit taking on the downside. MongoDB, MDB, and there's your exhaustion risk, right? Coming back in, back through the previous range. If you go to uh, like shop, still inside day. And an inside 60, it looks like. Still an inside day, but it's just like I said, most of the selling is some profit taking in a bunch of these big boys like ZM here now you got your inside 60s and you can notice here inside month right and the lower middle right and so we can expect back and forth action and so when it takes out this week last week's these two weeks highs then it starts to come back and here's your internal try broadening formation so we're gonna see if we maybe we can take all this stuff out that would be nice uh, if we go to uh, CVAC and CVAC you can see last week we got the reversal here to the downside. Just kind of sitting there for right now, but getting close to taking that month back red, so we'll see if anything comes of that. Um, ARCT also 
coming back down. We'll see it three hours inside of here, so not that much selling in this. But just want you to be able to identify things. And so in the daily, you can see this. Pokes its head up, too. Stop them out, and then boom, back to previous range. So uh, be careful. It's a holiday market, so things can really start to dry up here. So make sure that you're using this stuff to identify natural buyers and sellers, because if you don't, you go rot. All right, that's going to do it for today. I'm Rob Smith, this is the Black Channel here. Take a talker with the Strat Time Report.